it's Thursday, and you know what that means? Another midnight movie review, even though it's you probably won't see this until Friday, or Saturday, or Sunday, or whenever you're watching it, but this is midnight movie review for January, what, 18th? Uh, yeah. Yep. January 18th, 2018. Finally actually went and saw a new movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, this time. So, and we went and saw Twelve Strong. Is that the name of it? Yeah. Yes. Twelve Strong. Based on the true story of the horse, horse soldiers, the first special forces, uh, I guess unit, I guess you call it, yeah. to be deployed to Afghanistan after 9/11. Mm-hmm. And. Wow, that was, that's some un incredible odds that they had to overwhelm. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert, they had to overcome some incredible odds with that. Basically, 12 U.S. soldiers plus, what, 50 Afghani? Uh, there was 200. Oh, there's 200, that's right. There was 200 in the warlords uh, uh, group. Yeah. Against potentially fifty thousand. Against uh, yeah, they were uh, they were going up against the Taliban. Basically, yeah, the entire like Taliban. The the Taliban. Oh, well, I mean, you know, most of them. Right. Um, yeah. I. This was an interesting one. Uh, it was based off. It is based off a true story, a true event that actually happened, that nobody knew about until last year. Or well, when 2016. The book, when the book came out. Yeah, well, nobody knew about it even before then because it, the book was written because the book was finally allowed to be released because the government declassified the story. Ah. It, the story was classified up until the beginning of 2006, like ar around the middle of 2016. Uh, Freedom of Information Act kicked in, they were able to declassify it. That's when the book was released and then the movie came very shortly as afterward. As quickly as possible, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Since it's the beginning of 2018, and it's been probably a year and a half yeah. since it came out. So they didn't, they, they, I guess he already knew, I guess he already, maybe already had deals set up. Uh, possibly, yeah. Um. Well, and my biggest thing, mm -hmm. and as with any based on a true story, you make, it makes you wonder how much of it is Hollywood. Um, you know, what changed from real life to the book, and then what changed from the book to the movie. Yeah. Yeah, it is hard, um, especially when you're telling a military story like this, to be able to get a lot of things accurate. Um, some are able to do it. This one may be pretty accurate, mm -hmm. since, you know, everybody's still alive. Since this is a recent, yeah. fairly recent event. Yeah. 15, 16 years ago. So, yeah. I mean, but uh, it was it was quite quite entertaining. It really mm -hmm. was. You know, since I knew nothing about this story, it was not like some of these other uh, historical pieces. I mean, only you know, almost twenty years. It's yeah, historical. But I didn't know anything about it, so I was like, oh, "Are they gonna make it? Do they make it? Are they gonna make it?" Um, and uh, so that was really good. Uh, I noticed uh, Michael Pena yeah. is in it. What's, what's with him in 9-11 stories? Uh, That's the second movie he's been in. What else was he in? World Trade Center. Oh, I still haven't seen that. Yeah. I think he's in another one that's supposed to be coming out, too, with Mark Wahlberg, I think. Uh, that's supposed to be coming out, some, I think, sometime uh, this year, and I think he's in that one as well. Hmm. We need to check to see if he's in United 93. Maybe he's, he's just hitting all of them. No, he's not. Oh. Uh. Um, uh, I really like this movie. I really did enjoy it. I had some issues with it, though. Mainly that it... It felt like it could have been better. It felt like it. It felt like they did seventy-five percent of everything to me, 
It's like they weren't giving everything its all. And you got some powerful people mm -hmm. in this movie. And some powerful actors. You know, Chris Hemsworth is fantastic. Chris Hemsworth can do a lot of strong range of emotions. Michael Shannon is a treasure. Michael Pena is fantastic. The guy who plays the warlord. I can't remember his name, but I've seen him in some other stuff. You know, there's some really good actors in here, and it felt like nobody was really giving it their all. Giving it everything they could. You know? Yeah, it did. So I don't something know. just kind of felt off. It just kind yeah. of felt like... Mediocre, almost. Not. I don't want to say mediocre. That's insulting. But just not like top quality. Yeah. I don't know I don't know how to describe it anyway either. I mean it was a great film, but it's just not like it could have been so much more, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean part of it part of it for me was it wasn't quite what I was expecting. Um you know, the trailers made it seem like it was really just horse soldiers going up against all these people and it's really not. I mean there's some fighting but most of the movie is they're there to drop bombs, you know. Navid Nagi Nagaban, Navid Nagaban. Huh. So that, that's who played him. Okay. Um, okay. The best way to put it, it's not like a what would you call it? Um, it, it felt more than an indie flick, but less than like a Hollywood. Like a triple A. Like a triple A flick, if that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing, and there's not anything wrong with it, but yeah. it just, I mean, maybe they were only working with a certain budget or whatever. There's only so much they could work with. And I think that, I think that they did, with what they had, they did a great job. But I think uh -huh. if they had been able to throw some more money into it, it could have been better. I'm not saying that bigger budget makes better movie, but. But it kind of does. In a lot of ways. It seems like they recycled. It, it almost seemed like somebody like recycled a lot of shots, it seems. Yeah. Like with the bomb, bombing sequences. Yeah. Um, and it's, and I, I know this is based on a true story, so it's hard to say anything about the story, but the story felt almost generic, even though I know that it couldn't have been because this is something that actually happened. Um, but... I don't know, it was just hard for me because I really enjoy war movies. I love war movies. You know, and there are so many good ones. And I have trouble watching a war movie without comparing it to other ones. You know, I'm like, you know, I'm watching this. I'm like, okay, it doesn't have the fantastic action of, like, Saving Private Ryan. You know, it doesn't have the strong story like something like Braveheart doesn't have the heart and the real emotion of something like Hacksaw Ridge. It's like, it's got all these elements, but it has some just in lesser qualities. Or lesser quantity of everything else. Um, the part that honestly was probably the most interesting to me was the Warlord. I found his character to be interesting, and I mean, he's kind of a dick in the movie. There's not, I mean, I'm not denying that, but his views on the American soldiers being in Afghanistan was what really intrigued me the most. You know, he had a line that really stuck with me. He says, um, if you leave, you're a coward. If you stay, you're our enemy. Speaking about American soldiers, that they're there and they're not going to be American soldiers forever. They're just going to end up becoming another clan. And I thought that was a really interesting look. And I wish that they had... I feel like I wish that they would have uh, focused a little bit more on that aspect of the entire story. Of these Americans coming in to somebody else's land to do it. And said they're... And I don't know. It's just... It felt like they weren't focusing on the right parts of the movie. But it's still good. Mm -hmm. It's still a good movie. It's still an enjoyable movie. It does have. I mean, it's got good action. It's got good story. But just it just it just it's just something is off about it. Yeah. There's just something missing. 
Mm -hmm. But when they actually get into the action, like the actual war, war fighting, it was good. It was very, very well shot. Mm -hmm. And so it was just frenetic. It had a lot of energy. And I, what, one thing I did, I do like is. Um, with some like war movies, it's a little too realistic, which there's nothing wrong with. I mean, with that saying, "War is hell," and it's is is true. Um, and I think it makes it that much more when it's like really ultra violent and really graphic, because like Braveheart type. type. That well, was frenetic and violent. Yeah, and well, you felt like you were there. I'm just thinking. Most most American audiences mm. only see war on TV, oh. so they don't really see like the the really the horribleness of it unless you were actually been there. Oh, okay. Um, and so uh, it's good when they do have that, but sometimes it's okay just to see war like through a television audience, television viewing ship, if that makes sense. Okay. Where it's not really, really violent. There's not a lot of blood and you know body parts everywhere or whatever. Um, so it was it was actually kind of nice to have that because every time I see a war movie uh, that there's going to be find out that there's going to be a war film, I always wonder it's like okay are they going to go ultra violent and realistic or are they going to kind of tame it back some? And so and sometimes you just want that ultra violent. Mm -hmm. Thing and then sometimes you just not maybe not so much because there um, even I mean the way they shot it there wasn't a lot of blood at all no no there I mean there's wasn't. little you can see little head splatters when people got shot but overall there wasn't a lot of blood yeah which was nice um, that's all I have to say about it. yeah that's I can't all I really think say. of anything else to say about it uh, in my opinion. It's one of those that, if you're into like war movies, it's worth it. But I would honestly say, wait till wait till it comes to Redbox. Yeah, yeah, that would be that that would be my. Unless you have like, unless you like get free movie admissions or something like that. Unless you don't have to pay to go to the movies. Like if you work there or something, or if you got hookups yeah. or something. Yeah, definitely you'll see it. But other than that, just wait. It's probably can be waited until. Red Bucks. I don't see this thing winning Oscars. So. Yeah, this is a this is a rental. Mm -hmm. This is a rental recommendation. And I'm not like I said, we're not saying it's a bad movie, but I don't know if it's worth paying to go to the movie see the theater yeah. to see it. Yeah. So. You know. So. Yeah. So there you go. Probably our first lesser recommendation for any of the movies that we've really seen so far. They can't mm -hmm. all be winners. Yep. So. Um, yeah. So, there you go. Uh, next week, I don't know. I don't uh, know next week. So, who knows? So, something. Something so. next week. Yep. Right. Thanks for watching. Blessed be. Bye.